Welcome back to the concluding part of our lesson on speech writing for SS1. Now, we stopped uh, in the features of speech writing. We were looking at the features of speech and we said that the first thing is the title, then the salutation, the body or the content, and then the subscription. Uh, remember we said the title is just the heading and we gave an example, something like a welcome address delivered by the president of Literary and Debating Society of Pace High School on the inauguration of her officials at the school hall on the 25th of July 2020. Something like this is the title. This is an example. So depending on what, what the occasion is, what the situation is, then you get the title. Okay, then we talked about salutation and we said salutation is just an expression of greetings to the audience observing due protocol and uh, we say our protocol will include greetings to the proprietor or the proprietress the principal or an head teacher the teachers the student body and so on now we are looking at the body or the content this deals with the issues to be addressed in the speech now, in writing the issues that should be addressed in the speech, in writing the body, you may want to consider four things, four important things. So, we'll call them A, B, C, D. Okay? So, the A, the use of long sentences, the use of sentences that are too long may make your speech boring and your audience may lose interest the use of sentences that are too long may make your speech boring and your audience may lose interest so when you are writing the body of your speech use short sentences short clear sentences okay now, B, you should always bear in mind the purpose of writing the speech and the type of audience you are writing to. You should always bear in mind the purpose of writing the speech and the type of audience being addressed. If you are addressing a school audience, during a prize giving ceremony you can't keep saying praise the lord because that term is used for church congregation so in your speech bear in mind the purpose and the audience that you are addressing see a good speech should be logically presented in well-connected paragraph for desired effect. A good speech should be logically presented in well-presented paragraphs. Present them logically, connect them in your paragraph so that they create the desired effect. And D, if you are writing or giving a speech on behalf of a group, you should not forget to make use of the plural pronouns like we, us. If you are giving your speech on behalf of a group, do not forget to make use of the plural, plural pronoun we, us. Okay? So the next thing we will consider in the feature of a speech is the last one, the subscription. 
the subscription. What do we mean by this? This consists of the name, designation, and signature, as well as the official position of the speaker. This consists of the name, the designation, and signature, as well as the official position of the speaker. E.g., you give your signature, then you say, Akaluka Mohammed, General Secretary. General Secretary, um, Debating Society, Pace High School. Or you will say, you give your signature, then you will say, Deborah Onobirum, Principal, Pace High School. So you will give your, your signature, your designation, your name, and your position. Okay, so that is what we mean by the subscription at the end of your speech writing. Okay, so these are all you have to consider when you are writing a speech. You have to consider the situation that is the occasion for writing the speech. You have to consider your audience and you have to consider the purpose. After that, in the speech itself, the features again are the title, the salutation, the body or the content, and the subscription. Now, I will want you to mention three occasions that demand speech writing. Mention three occasions that demand speech writing. What is speech writing? List four important features of a speech. State two major characteristics of the following. A, a welcome address. B, a wedding toast. This is your classwork. Let me repeat your classwork again. I want you to mention three occasions that demand speech writing. Make four, list four important features of a speech. State two major characteristics of the following. A, a welcome address. B, a wedding toast. Okay. Then the last but not the least, I want you to differentiate between a formal speech and an informal speech. Please write this, drop it in the forum, or give me a direct message and I'll get back to you. As usual, I will say, keep safe and God bless.